Hello, and welcome to this video on the shortest war in history. In 1896, Britain and Zanzibar engaged in a brief but significant conflict that lasted just 38 minutes. But despite its brevity, this war had a lasting impact on both countries and the world at large. So, let's dive in and explore the background and details of this fascinating piece of history. To understand the context of this conflict, we need to go back to the late 19th century, when European powers were vying for control over African territories. Zanzibar, a small island off the east coast of Africa, was a valuable trading hub that had long been under the influence of the British Empire. In 1890, a treaty was signed that gave Britain control over Zanzibar's foreign policy, while the Sultan remained the nominal head of state. The Sultanate of Zanzibar was a sovereign state that had a rich history and culture, with its own unique customs and traditions. The reigning Sultan at the time of the conflict was Khalid bin Bargash, a controversial figure who had come to power through a coup and was not recognized by the British as the legitimate ruler of Zanzibar. Khalid was seen as a threat to British interests in the region, and tensions between the two sides had been building for some time. On August 25, 1896, the British issued an ultimatum to Khalid, demanding that he step down from power and leave the Sultan's palace by 9 a.m. the next day. The British had assembled a fleet of warships in the harbor, along with several hundred troops, and were prepared to use force if necessary. Khalid, for his part, refused to back down and rallied his supporters to defend the palace. At 9.02 a.m. on August 26, 1896, the British opened fire on the palace with their naval guns, launching a 38-minute bombardment that destroyed much of the building and killed or wounded several hundred people. Khalid and his supporters were forced to flee, and the British declared victory. The conflict was over almost as soon as it had begun, with the British emerging triumphant and Zanzibar effectively becoming a British protectorate. The aftermath of the conflict was significant, both for Zanzibar and for British imperialism. The British were criticized for their heavy-handed approach and the loss of life that occurred, with some calling it an unnecessary show of force. Zanzibar, meanwhile, was changed forever, with its sovereignty effectively lost and its cultural heritage threatened by British influence. The conflict also highlighted the tensions and power struggles that were taking place across the African continent at the time. And that's the story of the shortest war in history. Despite its brief duration, this conflict had a lasting impact on the world, highlighting the complex relationships between nations and the challenges of imperialism. We hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. Just to wrap things up on a lighter note, did you know that the shortest war in history was even shorter than some of the commercials we see on TV today? It's true. So, the next time you're complaining about a long ad break, just be glad you're not in the middle of a 38-minute war. Thanks for watching.